This is November. We've been living with the pandemic and these rules now for so long that it does become a little bit of second nature. So wearing a mask while you're singing and dancing is not fun and it is not helpful. It hurts your voice. You can't breathe. But we all understand why it's necessary. Um, uh, you know, the, all the protocols for makeup department and sound department are really hard on them. I feel worse for the crew than for us because they're the ones who bear the brunt of it. Um, it adds a layer of work to theirs, which is just extraordinary. And, you know, the producers have a whole, a whole new budget line called COVID <laughs> compliance, you know, and it, testing. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a whole thing. But, you know, what, what I think is amazing is that we're just doing it. No one is letting it get in the way. We're, we're doing it responsibly. We're figuring out how to manage it, keep people safe, and we're still doing it. And um, I love that. The show must go on. I think people should be watching this Grinch musical this Christmas because we need it. In 2020, we need it. We need to be inspired. We need to feel something for the heart. You know, the, the, the tagline of this and many thing is, you know, um, was it, uh, you know, the Grinch hated Christmas and he hated the Who's, um, uh, was it his head, was it his heart? And my line is, you know, what happened next? Well, down in Whoville, they say, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes this day. Everyone's heart needs to grow. And that's what this musical can give us.